Welcome to Friday Takeaway. We have two stocks waiting to be rescued in the form of Astro Malaysia and Media Prima, but in the meantime, confidence in global markets will hit as a global trade war between China and the US deepened this week. UBS reckons there is now a 20% chance of an earnings recession with an escalation in trade tensions, and a full-fledged trade war could see Asian stocks tumble 30% from this year's peak, they said. Facebook celebrated the billionth Instagram user by launching IGTV, which revamps mobile video, pitching Instagram directly against their Google rival, YouTube, and of course giving Mark Zuckerberg yet another platform on which to sell ads. Former Prime Minister Najib spoke to Reuters and Langkawi where, amongst other things, he said the following. He didn't benefit from YNMDB. Its board of directors were largely to blame for the losses. The millions in cash and handbags found in his house were wedding gifts. The 2.4 billion ringgit in his bank account was a donation from King Abdullah of Saudi. And that Joe Lau was not working for him. Oh yeah, one more thing. He also never met the murdered Mongolian model, Aung San Suu Kyi, As for the FBM KLCI, as at 11am, the index was down 0.2% to 1,689 points. That's 4.1% lower from last Friday's closing. Of course, markets have been stung by a combination of trade war concerns and a string of painful Pakistan Harapan government announcements expected to sting earnings in the short term but benefit Malaysia in the long term. In this week's This or That, it's all about speculation about rescues, or more specifically, which stock is to gain most from being rescued, Astro by larger sibling Maxis or Media Prima by Telecom Malaysia. Media Prima is some 30% owned by the Malaysian government and government-linked funds. They control TV, radio, outdoor, print, digital content creation and home shopping networks, employing some 4,000 people. Now, Media Prima has been hit by a maelstrom of factors including weak ADEX, digital disruption, its political linkages and a new Pakistan government that has vowed to liberalise the media and install free speech in Malaysia. Media Prima have lost a third of their value since the year began but has rebounded quite nicely since the mid-May trough of 28 cents as Balkan hunters bet on its recovery. Investors have been buoyed by Q1 results which show that losses in the quarter narrowed to minus 21 million ringgit from a minus 39 million ringgit loss a year earlier. That's thanks to higher contributions from almost all their platforms with the exception of TV and outdoor media. The market is also hoping that another GLC, Telecom Malaysia, might step in to help rescue the company following speculation that Max is, is considering a similar rescue at Astro. Now last month, MIDF upgraded Media Prima to a trading buy in a fresh target price of 41 cent hoping that their decision to rethink the business model in its entirety via an odyssey strategy of growing non-ad revenue might pay dividends. But with Media Prima now at nearly 50 cents, they expect analysts to relook this price target and price call. Astro is another media business, but which gets most of its revenue from the pay TV business. It's also got radio networks, film library licensing, and magazines, plus a growing home shopping business. Astro shares have been shredded this year, losing some 43% of the value, hurt by piracy, poor ad revenue, digital streaming, and a new government that wants more players in the pay TV space. Year to date, Astro shares are down 40%, or more than 40%, though they seem to have stabilized in the past month. Today, they're down 0.6% to 159. Now, speculation is rife that Astro's main owner, the billionaire Ananda Krishnan, is mulling options to rescue Astro. A fortnight ago, though, it was a privatization. This week, it's a possible tie-up or even a merger with a bigger sibling, Maxis Communications, which kind of also makes sense because globally, telcos with fat broadband pipes have also been buying up data and content companies. Now, even before all this speculation of a rescue, MIDF was already a fan with a buy call, though albeit with a much lower target price today of just two ringgit six cents from two ringgit eighty-three cents previously. MIDF, like Astro's dual model, i.e. premium and freemium market approach, in that the bulk of the income is derived from subscription revenue versus advertising revenue.